Okay. Literally, we're doing one of my favorite things today. What's up, everybody? Today, we're doing another one of these world's most videos. And yes, it involves paint. So far, we've tested out the world's maddest and flattest black acrylic paint. We did the world's pinkest pink. It changed when it got hot and cold. Now, today, we are testing out. No, I'm not. We are testing out. Lit. This apparently is the world's glowiest glow in the dark paint. <laughs> and, yeah. and I don't know if glowiest is a word, but that is how it is advertised. Lit glow in the dark pigment that we are actually gonna have to mix with some super base. Actually, I got a smaller super base bottle. We're not gonna open this one yet. Might as well finish this one off. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about this. Stuart Semple, again, this guy. I've done three videos on his products. He's an artist from the UK who develops different types of paints. This right here is just a jar of the pigment. We're actually gonna have to mix that in with Super Base. This is just a hyper-concentrated powder that when mixed with a white base, it creates the paint. So there is a little bit of prep work here. Now to give you guys some comparison, we're not just gonna test out the glowiest glow-in-the-dark paint, we're actually also gonna test out some standard glow-in-the-dark paint, just so we have something to compare it to. This is the stuff that you'd buy in store. This is purchased online. We're gonna see. I'm gonna actually put this to test. This is not sponsored, so I'm not obligated to say anything. We're gonna give a real honest attempt here. Let's do it. We're gonna lay down some newspaper. <clears throat> Now my test subject today is actually gonna be this guy. It's kind of like the bird I used in the other video. It's the same material, like this plaster of Paris white owl. Here's the plan. I'm gonna paint exactly half of it with the store-bought glow-in-the-dark paint, and then the other half, I'll be using the glowiest glow-in-the-dark paint. Which side glows more? It's that easy. We're gonna start off with the store-bought glow-in-the-dark paint. This is super rough, but that's okay. We've divided the owl in half. This side right here will be the store-bought glow-in-the-dark paint, and the side that is covered will be the glowiest glow-in-the-dark paint. Let's do it. We are four coats in and already I'm not noticing a big difference. This says it's a paint, it does not say it's a gloss or it doesn't say it's a top coat. This is meant to be a specific paint. However, it lacks color. It's kind of boring looking. You can kind of see it's got this like really, really faint green snotty look to it. The other problem is you can really see the brush strokes. We're gonna apply the last layer, the fifth layer. So now that we have half the owl painted with glow-in-the-dark paint that you can buy from the store, we're now gonna prep and mix Lit, the glowiest glow-in-the-dark paint in the world. The time has come to test out Lit. It comes unmixed, you have to mix that yourself. I believe on the lid it actually says, mix two and a half parts Lit with one part water. Stir into super base acrylic medium Okay, so we actually have to add water to this as well. We have a bowl here for mixing. So as the instructions say, we need two and a half. So we're gonna do one, two and a half. Mix that with one part water, so just one little spoonful. May have been too much, but let's go ahead and mix. So that's actually way too much water. We're gonna add more to balance it out. It's kind of for a bit of paint material. It's like very thick, like paste. All right, now let's add in the super base. All right, let's add a little bit more. All right, now that we've got our mixture, let's go ahead and brush that on the owl. This is a really good comparison because you can already see the light color difference in the store-bought versus nothing. This is gonna sound really weird, guys, but this wing right here is already glowing. 
I'm only on coat two. This, there's five coats of this paint on the right side. I'm only on coat two, and it already looks like there's 10 layers versus that, so this paint is a lot thicker as well. You can't really see it on camera, but this color is like a very, very bright lime color. We're gonna charge it with light right now, bring it into my bathroom, and see which one is brighter. Here's what we got going on right now. Get my ring light right here, supercharging this owl. We're gonna take it from this and bring it and put it on this stool right there. Reveal. Holy Oh my guys. What the actual It's like the right side's not even glowing. I have never in my life See more of a glow than this. Let's see how high I gotta raise the ISO. Even at 6400, we're not even pick. We're barely picking up the right side. Holy sh! This is actually unbelievable. Let me charge it up. Let me charge up the paint. And I'll charge up this paint. So you're gonna notice two things here. The left side, it retains the glow in the light so much longer. I've got a flashlight in my hand, and watch what I do to the store bot. Okay? It stays lit but fades instantly. So it's almost like it has potential to meet the same glow, but it doesn't hold on to it. See how quick it fades? It's like within 10 seconds, the fade is already gone. The left side has not been recharged with light since I brought it into the bathroom, but if I do do that, it holds on to it. You can see the line Look at that. It holds on to the light so much longer than the store bot. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Start. Look how quick that fades. That's not sped up or anything. That is actually fading right now in front of my eyes. There are a couple big differences between these two paints. Let's start with the store bot. It goes on like a glaze. It goes on like a top coat. It doesn't go on like a pigmented acrylic paint. So my problem with it is if it's gonna be glow paint, at least give it some sort of pigment. Cause this is boring. If you give this to a kid to paint or anybody to paint with, there's not much to it. The whole idea of glow-in-the-dark paint is that it's supposed to glow in the dark. This only really glows in the dark for like 10 seconds after you charge it up. Now the positives here, this is store-bought. You can get this today. You can get it to, You can get it on demand whenever you need it. You shake it up and it's ready to go. It's pre-mixed. Everything you need is in this bottle ready to go. That's also super handy. And I guess last but not least, it's affordable. This bottle came to about $8. Now it's time to talk about lit. Starting the review off strong, this is by far Okay, by far the most illuminated glow-in-the-dark paint I've ever seen. The texture is a lot thicker, and in fact, there's actually a color to it when you put it on. The only problem I have with Lit is that the instructions don't say how much super base to add. This is more of like a professional style of paint. Anybody can use it, anybody can buy it. But what I mean by that is, this is, you buy it at the store, ready to go. This one, you actually have to mix, to make sure you have the right measurements, you gotta start, like, there's a lot more to this before it's actually ready to use. It holds onto its light. The whole effect of glow-in-the-dark paint is exceeded here, okay? You get the cool effect. Ooh, wow, it glued. You guys see that? It like really lit up. Put the flashlight on it again. It fades after 10 seconds. This one, you'd be like, oh my God, it's still going. Like, that's what I had. It's still going. The difference between the textures is the store-bought one has a very shiny finish to it. Again, looks like a glaze. Whereas this one's got a very chalky matte finish to it. If you don't add in the right amounts, it will come out very clumpy. As you can see here, the texture gets a little messed up. So you'd have to work on that. I was before, but now I'd say I'm a massive fan of Stuart Semple and Culture Hustle. That's where I got these paints. All in all, Culture Hustle and Stuart Semple did it again, created amazing products with no clickbait behind it. They all actually do what they say they're gonna do. I 100% give it the Danocracy stamp of approval that Lit is by far the glowiest glow-in-the-dark paint I've ever seen or used. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more product reviews coming up and I've got some major contests coming up for some really good gifts and prizes. 
there's gonna be multiple of them. So guys, subscribe to this. Make sure notifications are turned on. If you guys also wanna see another perspective of this glow paint, I'll do it on my Instagram. It should be up right now when you guys watch this, but yeah, my Instagram's at Danocracy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.